It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be talking about values on opposite sides of zero as we answer a math question. So let's begin. Here is our math question today. Which of the following numbers are on opposite sides of zero on the number line? We are given four pairs of values and asked to find the one answer that has two values that are on opposite sides of zero. So go ahead and pause the video now, do your best work, and come back to check your answer. Welcome back. So we're considering pairs of values and that are on opposite sides of zero on our number line. So let's identify zero on our number line. Here's zero. So we're gonna plot each of these pairs of numbers to determine which pair is on opposite sides. So opposite sides means we're gonna have one on the negative side and one value on the positive side. So left of zero are our negative values and to the right of zero are our positive values. So let's begin with A and that is the pair of values zero and two. So let's plot zero and two. So this is not on either side. Zero is actually on zero, it's not on the opposite side. So it doesn't have a side. So therefore we can't say that answer choice A is correct because there's no thing on the negative side. We have one on zero and one on the positive side. So it can't be A. Let's graph four and three. So here's four and here's three. We can see that both of those values are on the same side of zero. They're on the positive side of zero on the number line. So it cannot be B. Now let's consider C, five and negative six. So we're gonna plot five and negative six. We can see that negative six is on the left side of zero, the negative side, and five is on the right, the positive side, and those are opposite sides. So we have our answer choice, C is the correct answer. Let's check D just to make sure. So we're gonna consider the values negative seven and negative eight. When we plot negative seven and negative eight, we can see that they are both on the negative side of zero. So they're not on opposite sides. So we were correct. Answer choice D is incorrect. And our answer choice is C. Five and negative six are on opposite sides of zero. So there you have opposite sides of zero. Don't forget to graph so that you have a visual representation of what you're looking at. No guessing. And I thank you for joining the magic of math today as we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day. Come back soon and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.